Just as you are. Yes, we are in the world, but we're not of the world. Don't use no excuse, amen, that, that you can't draw closer to God. But this year, this year, January the 6th, 2019, make up your mind, say, I got a new direction. Oh, I got a new style on my face. We live in a world, amen, bent and still in your time. Don't conform to this to this world pattern. Yes, renew your mind in Christ. Yes, How do I renew my mind in Christ? By studying His Word. Amen. 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 And I ain't trying to put anybody on the spot here. But if you only open your Bible on Sunday, you need to really renew your mind. You know how it is. Take the dust off of it. But I love the Lord here. Yeah. I got King Jesus. But the Bible is open on Sunday. The devil trying to take your time. The devil trying to say it, it ain't worth reading that word of God. Look at you. Look, 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 look what you're going through right now. And you talk about there is a God. Come on. Tell the devil you a lie. There is a God. You tell him I got a new way of walk. Yeah, yeah. Talk. Yeah. Yeah. The devil is crafty. Yes, he is. Very. But renew your mind in Christ. Fulfill God's perfect will for your life. And I believe the day if we really try, amen, to do God's will and not our will, we will see some things happening yeah. in our life. And why things not to happen in your life, amen, it's got maybe, just maybe, you're trying to do your own will and not God's will. Yeah. I'm a firm believer, I'm a firm believer. When God said leave something alone, you need to leave it alone. You can't fix something that you broke. God can only fix things in your life. If you're going through something, amen, you happen to have problems with your finance, amen, God said he owned everything. I have a pocket full of money, but I got some change I can jingle because God said, I take care of these people. But I decided this year I'm going to be better than I did last year. Since grace found me. My mama used to sing that song, the place that I used to go out on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some place you don't need to go. foolish, but understand what the will, the Lord's will is. Yes. <laughs> How can we discern God's perfect will? Walk in Him. Amen. A change will come. Amen. A change will come. Yes. You, you can't just walk with Him Sunday morning. I know some people say you don't take all of that to go to church every week. Don't take all that to go to Bible study every week. But when I was out in that club, it was all right to go every day. Oh, Y'all know what I'm talking about. Snapping and popping all night long. But I love the Lord so much, I don't mind coming to church on Sunday. I don't mind coming through the week because, amen, that's what I live for. I live for the Lord. I may not be perfect. Yeah, yeah. Oh, y'all ain't saying nothing. Come on, man. Nothing but Lord. 
You can look at my fault, but can't see your own. You got a big old log in your eyes, you trying to see what I do wrong. Don't look at me like you don't do anything wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I know God is a good God. And as long as I walk with Him, I'm still going to have some problems while I'm walking with Jesus. But I ain't going to give up. I'm going to keep on walking. I may fall by the wayside, but I'm going to keep on walking. Because I made up my mind 2019, I got a new direction. I got a new smile on my face. Mm. Can I ask a question? What are the most important things in your life? Real school, family, Amen. and church. Is that the order? <laughs> Education, <laughs> career school, family, and church. <laughs> How's your priority? <laughs> hmm? Is the education, career, school, family, and church? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me tell you, there's three types of people. Number one, some of you already know that your priority are out of order. Yes. Yes. Secondly, some feel pretty good about where your priorities are with room for improvement. Yes. Thirdly, some people are totally convinced that their priorities are just fine. All right. I don't know where you fit in that, but number three is not me. Because my priority is not just fine. I need some improvement. Look at your name and say, do you need some improvement? Yeah, yeah, you do. Don't think you need, don't need no improvement. We all need some improvement over here. It doesn't matter how long you've been going to church. It don't matter where you're working in church. We all need some improvement. I would take it down a list of improvement, but you already know. Mm. We must realize my time is limited. We must choose to use time with godly wisdom. Godly, God's biblical priority is God, family, church, others, and everything else. Did y'all hear me? I'm going to say it again. God's biblical priority. It ain't fishing. I ain't talking about nobody. It's God. Say God. Let me hear you say it. Family. Church. And others. And everything else. And I believe today if you put God first. Hands here. It doesn't matter what I'm going through, but if I just put God first, not my family, but if I put God first, God can make things happen that seems impossible. And I'm a little weird to tell you that it's a new direction for your life. If you put God first, some people got it all mixed up. Family God. Family God. God is first. God the one who woke you up this morning. God is the one that put food in your refrigerator. God is the one that put clothes in your back. God is the one that makes you smile. God is the one that makes you want to cry. God, family, and church. I don't worry about the mothers all the time. God. I don't like hanging out with the mothers anyway, but God, family, and church. Listen, y'all. I gotta get out of here. If you don't get anything else, get this. You can't control the length of your life. Get this. But you can have something to say about the width and the depth. Oh, somebody, I'll get this in a minute. 
You, you get told the time, but it, it's a thing that you can do. If we truly desire a new direction for a new year, align our priority up with God's will. Then watch your life begin to change. Anybody need a change up in here? What kind of person will you, will you be this year? What kind of person? The same person you was last year? Doing the same thing you did last year? It didn't work last year. It ain't gonna work this year. Y'all don't hear me, do you? Uh, will you choose to make the most of 2019 that even Stevie Wonder can see? Yeah. God is able to give you new life. I'm glad that he gives me daily new life. I don't take life for granted. But every day I thank God. Maybe sick in my body. But I thank God for it. There's some people that were sick and died. I may be sick, but I'm still living. And I thank God. Always oh, ask a witness and say, Lord, I just want to thank you. Oh, that you young from Thank you. You've been so good. Thank you. You've been so kind. Thank you. You've been God all by yourself. Thank you, Lord.
time to look at our life. Give God more of our time. Amen. Amen. If you have a hard time reading, thank God for the technology. Amen. To download it on your phone. Yeah. And it'll talk to you. Today is the first Sunday. Today is a good day to surrender to the Lord. The doors of the church is open. 